Hello, my name is David Shorey, and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step track using Mocha for After Effects. This is a fairly typical tracking scenario where I have a graphic that is made for a specific frame, in this case the last frame, of my clip, and the clip is inside a larger QuickTime movie. So, let's begin. I start a new project, import the uh, file of the QuickTime movie. I'm going to be copying this into the clipboard, so I'm not concerned at this point where it is saving. It has saved there before, that's why I got that message. I'm going to bring in the entire length of the clip. The important one in the proje new project wizard is my frames per second. I need to make sure that this is set for the same frames per second as my After Effects composition. Now that I have the footage, I can scrub through to find that clip. Using the arrow keys, I find the first frame, and I use the middle mouse button, clicking down, to move the image up so that I can draw an X-spline that has part of the image and goes down to where I think the balcony would be. Using the right click, I end the X-spline, and I set the start point using this button for, the, for this particular layer. I can scrub through to the end using the arrow keys, I can find the end of that clip inside the QuickTime movie and click the out. Now I can also use the scroll wheel to scroll up or hold down the arrow keys, the left and right arrow keys, to find the first frame. And when I get these white dots, I know that I'm actually on that keyframe using the mill mouse button, center it up, and hit my track button. As you may have noticed, I didn't set up anything as far as auto channel or pixels used or motion. I am only, my goal is to tr touch only the buttons that I would absolutely need in order to get a track from Mocha for After Effects into After Effects. I can go back afterwards and refine the track and re-export it. Um, the first, but the first point is to actually get the track working in After Effects and then only fix what is not working. If everything's working, we can go on to the next one. So. The next important thing is my align surface. I need to find the frame that my graphic lines up to, which in this case is the last frame, and click on the align surface button. This will move the corner pin on that frame to the full, um, full extents of that image. So make sure that you click on the align surface before you export. Export the corner pin to the clipboard. Then go back into After Effects. You will need to actually go to the beginning of this clip and select the layer and Control V to paste and as you can see, it tracks it in there. If I hit zero on the numeric keypad, 
it will RAM preview. And as you can see, I have a pretty good track there. And that is it for this um, tutorial. I hope you liked it. Um, thank you.